Hello, everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Get myself adjusted here. Hello! Hello, Jay! Hello, B! Oh, wait, Lee! <laughs> Hello, Cornadius! Thank you for the follow and for the, the sub! Oh, God, this music is so loud. I forgot to turn it down. How's everybody doing? How was your... Friday? I remembered the day this time. Emmy Strim, Pago, yes! Welcome on and all, we return to, once again, to the maid event. <laughs> song is awesome. Be glad you could make it as well. Did the stream start without me? No. I mean, technically it was already going. I need to know this song. It is... What's it called? It is called... Pierce. By A.G.S.T. You can probably find it on YouTube. I think. <laughs> so how's everybody's day? I won't be staying long. Just stopping by to check it out. Going out for a birthday lunch. Yes! Have a good time! Have a good time at lunch. Happy birthday. So you're like 97 now, right? Hey, before you go, I'll, I'll show you what I normally look like. Boop. Magic. There you go. Made. Tis me. <laughs> you're welcome. Almost 97. Well, congratulate. Wait. Right, come on. I Congratulations. Yesterday was awful, but today is a new day. Ah! <laughs> and clearly we're off to a great start. Hooray! I'm sorry your day was awful. Mine was busy. Today's is busy as well. God, I gotta hydrate. Jeez. I've got, um, I've got an appointment at 3, so this will be a shorter stream, or I will take a break. <laughs> so what do you think, Cornadius? Do you think voice changer? No? <laughs> Probably not. All right, enough waiting around. Let's go. They're not forever. Let's do. Let's do game. Oh uh, yeah, very briefly the schedule. Um, no, I can tell no voice changer. Yeah. Do I sound like a cartoon character? As many people have said. Well, maybe you have to wait till I get to the voices to really know that. Uh, so yeah, today is Friday, so just, uh, tomorrow 1 p.m. And Eastern. And then... Dragon Ropa V3 on Sweet Next Play's channel at 7 p.m. That is Drunken Ropa, or Sip and Simp. Where we simp over fictional characters while we drink. <laughs> and see who's going to be murdered next. Yes, cartoon character. Hell yeah! <laughs> I see you found the tendril. All right, let's get about rid of our schedule here and start the game. From what last we left off, we were being crazy. Our lady friends were being also crazy. That pretty much sums it up. New chapter. Not a pretty sight. Genuinely love your streams. I'm so glad. So lucky to find your found your channel. Oh, thank you, Lee. You sound a lot like that cool one cool Twitch lady, Emmy Akina. Thank you, Jay. All right, we ready? I gotta move my mic. 
and just the... You're gonna go have fun. I will. Thank you for being here. Have a fun. Have a good time at lunch. The evening of the day, Grace told me I, we would kill Anna together. I worried so much that I got a fever. I don't think fevers work that way. I don't think you can worry yourself into one. Goodness. I was lying down on the bed. Anna put a cold, wet towel over my forehead. I did think you had a bit of a fever. But you said you were fine when I left. I mumbled something. I might have been trying to tell her to stay away. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me! What's the protagonist's name? Uh, Jack Friday. Steve! <laughs> might as well be Steve, right? His name is John Everyman. John Crazy Person. <laughs> It was seeing Anna, thinking about what we'd do to her, that it scared me so much that it made me sick. I was weak. I can't understand what you're saying. Whatever it is, you can tell me later. Oh, I'll be there telling you later. With a knife. Or Grace, depending on your perspective. Mmm, you think this is Steve Ender Dragon? <laughs> For now, just rest. I've, my thermometer reading made her frown. If this goes up anymore, I'm taking you to the hospital. <gasps> no! <laughs> Don't do it! We already know it's at the hospital. That... <laughs> Void doctor. Spaghetti face. I croaked out that I was fine. I'm fine. Oh, sweetie. That... You sound like shit. You will be fine. But only if you do as I say. Then quick put it in the freezer for a few minutes. You'll be okay. That'll chill you right down. Try to get some sleep. I'll get you some medicine and a nice cup of ginger root tea. Thanks. <laughs> she doesn't know that I fucking hate ginger. I managed to sleep for the next hour, though I wake up constantly. Dude, you just, you're just sick. After that, I took a shower. Oh, it was so cold it, on my skin, it hurt. But Anna had warned me not to set it to hot, so I didn't. I put on a fresh set of clothes. Then I laid down the clean sheets Anna had laid out. Within ten minutes, everything was clammy with sweat again. Anna didn't blame me. She, she didn't have a, she didn't have a bad word to say. Didn't even sigh, though I knew she was tired. She was a saint. Yeah, sure. So now he's listening to Anna, right? <laughs> Doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Well, I guess he's gonna kill her, so maybe he maybe he feels guilty. I gotta reset this really quick. Calibrating. There we go. She was a saint, although not really, because she fucking stalked me. <laughs> a lot. This is what happened before he went to the hospital. Yes, it is. So we don't know what happened. With this, if we've got... Grace is supposed to come over and we're supposed to murder her? M murder Anna? But my guess is that doesn't happen because she's alive... Later? Uh, murder's bad. <laughs> you shouldn't do murder. Okay. She said she was being so kind to me, I was going to help kill her. Oh, and I was going to help kill her. Which, you know, eh. <laughs> it sounded like fun. It is the weekend, after all. You got a little, get, get a little crazy. And it's kind of bad, too. <laughs> I'd say she's pretty bad. Whether or not she's murderable bad, probably not. There must be, I thought, some other way. There was not any other way. I couldn't let this end in violence. I just couldn't. So my fever... <laughs> yeah! I knew that one was popular. And look, I can even put, like, the glasses up and down. And take the cover off? I'm not sure which... 
I don't know which button that. Oh, here it is. I gotta take the cover off too. The hair on all of them are so good. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, I was wearing this hair. This is this is the hair that originally went with it. I think. Got the big things in the hair. So my fever numb brain came up with the best plan it could. <laughs> Get a puppy! Shit, I guess I'm sicker than I thought. Yay! Hello, Andy's! Welcome! How's your, uh, Friday? God, I'm really having to clear my throat a lot. Should've got some tea. What am I thinking? Good morning! Ha! Huh, I don't know, Jack. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to murder me? I mean, really? Have you really thought about it? Hmm? Ginger tea? Is that supposed to be helpful for, for your throat? Just got up, aunt. Oh, well, it's good to see you. Is it is it really early where you are? It's like 1 p.m. here. So not exactly late, but not exactly early either. Oh, I forgot. I should be using my little, uh, my little clicker thingy. There we go. I'm not gonna have my hands up. Ain't hey, nothing like sleeping in. Hell yeah. I kind of wish I could. Yes, I feel so much better now. Now that I'm gonna Run. kill you. Oh, thank you for doing the shout out. Wait. Everhood? But hold on. Brown Mage was... Or at least the game labeled Brown Mage to be the fucking giant tree in Midnight Town. Well, that's One of those clips, right? Scary, spooky. I know your secret now. Yay! Yeah, everyone go check out Undies VT. I actually watch a bit, but I usually just lurk. <laughs> Unless I'm gonna have a conversation about something, I'm just watching. Y'all are so cool, you are! I could take a day off. It'll probably be fine. I'll be okay. See? I handed her the thermometer. It was a mercury thermometer. I'd carefully let it reach only a near fever point. I didn't lie when I said I felt better, but I did still have a fever. Well, all right then. Please stay safe and call if there's any problems. If you need something for your throat, you should have honey and lemon tea. Yeah, I think I did have that recently. Hello, Jigsy! You don't have to be sorry you're late. You got a big day. Uh, Jay, please give Jinxie a shout out. Jinxie will be, uh, doing her debut. I think it's, I think it's her on, on Twitch. We'll just put it that way. Uh, debut, uh, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Please give them a follow. And check them out tonight. At the very least, come by and say hello. Her is correct. Cool. Got it. Thank you, Jay. Anything at all, okay? I don't know. Can you? Is it weird if I ask you to help us with your murder? I mean, I'm kind of tired. I don't know if I could hold you down. Would you be willing to, like, tie yourself up? Ah, shit. I am sicker than I thought. Jay is really cool. I have very cool chats. Chatters. Okay. She left and I got to work. <laughs> Collapsing onto the bed. There was a trace of my past somewhere in the apartment. There had to be. I didn't know where it was or what it would look like, but I hoped that Anna had brought something with her here. I was going to find it. Wait, why? Why does he need to find something? Oh, he's got to, like, search his memories or something, right? Then I confront Anna with it, and whatever happened after that, I wasn't going to let anyone get killed. 
I really should have done this before, I thought. It would have saved me a lot of grief. But it was no use thinking about what could have been, so I searched. The main thing for the bad throats is a bowl of warm chicken bouillon with some hot sauce. I've never heard of that one. That does sound pretty tasty, actually. Yeah, the, the thing is, it's not like, um... It's not like a sore throat. I get like... And it's only at the beginning of streams. Like, right when I start talking a lot. I get like a... <clears throat> I don't know how to put it. Like a... I don't know, like a catch in my throat that makes me like, eh, 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 like a gravelly kind of sound. But it goes away, like, in a half hour. So maybe it's like a warm-up thing, maybe I should be warming up before streaming. Which is probably smart, but... <laughs> I'm always so friggin' busy, like... <laughs> I'd have to mix that into something else, I guess. She said anything that means you could have asked her to do the murder for us. Yeah, she would be tied to that. Have you been swallowing gravel again? No. That you know of. That <laughs> eats rocks. <laughs> that sounds like an insult, doesn't it? Like, go eat rocks. Oh, I'm getting glitchy again. What the hell? This is all the time. I didn't have to search long. I found what I was looking for in this nightstand in the top drawer. It was the only thing there. <laughs> it's the Gideon's Bible. Anna had come to trust me so much that she hadn't bothered hiding it. Or she'd wanted me to find it. When I saw it, I didn't think it was the clue I was looking for. It was a picture book. Oh boy. Greek lemon soup always hits a spot for me with her scratchy throat. I've never heard of that one either. So it seems like lemon is a very common thing between all of them. And also warm liquid for sure. I know that. I know tea helps. I just haven't had the time to make it recently. A badly made one, too. Thick pieces of paper stapled together. The drawing smeared on with crayons. Ugh, gross. Ch kill children stuff. I read it on a whim. I was curious. On the last page, I wasn't curious anymore. This wasn't a picture book. It was a confession. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Definitely not his confession about murdering the dog. Cold can actually hurt it a bit. Yeah, I believe you. Oh, is it going to be an actual picture book? Oh, it is. The Little Wolf. Oh, look how cute. There was once a little wolf. It had a mommy wolf. It had a daddy wolf. But mommy wolf and daddy wolf didn't love the little wolf. Here they are, about to eat him. Why is that? I don't fucking know. Life is cruel. Did Anna write this book? Oh, we it was almost certainly us. Because he was different. Oh. They didn't love it, and they didn't love each other. And they fought and fought and fought and fought. And then one day something happened, and Little Wolf was all by itself. But the Little Wolf didn't stay alone for long. One day, a family of sheep took it in. Along with Buddy. There was a mommy sheep, a daddy sheep, and a little lamb. And the big dog named Buddy. Well, well, well. A wolf amongst the sheeps, eh? My eyes got heavy as heckers. You mean like, because you know what's going to happen? They were a happy family. For now. But they didn't like wolves, so why'd they take me in? Daddy Sheep said to the little wolf, Wolves are all to be locked away. He also said, you are lucky to be alive. Wait, why'd you take him in? Ugh. My eyes. They did not know that the little wolf was a wolf. Oh, there you go. 
He ate grass. Oh, so the little wolf played along and went, it went ba ba like a sheep and ate grass like a sheep. And for a while it was happy. It wasn't happy for long. Wake up, sheeple. The little wolf was a wolf. It was hungry. It needed to hunt. It knew how to hunt, too. It had seen Danny Wolf. It had seen him do all kinds of things. Say, anybody want to pick up that phone? Because I fucking called it. The first thing that the little wolf did was the big dog, oh, hunted, was a big dog named Buddy. Here he is eating some delicious jam. Or a, he's eating a steak. Mommy sheep and daddy sheep were really scared. Oh no, they said, there are wolves around. We should be careful. They didn't know the little wolf had done it. I lost my voice earlier. Me and my friends are making stupid and idiotic noises. Hell yeah! Well, I mean, you shouldn't do it so much you lose your voice, but yeah. Making, uh... Doing a whole bunch of stupid no noises and, and voices and stuff is exactly why, why I do this today. But the little lamb did know. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I'm going to be completely right about this. The little lamb didn't like the little wolf. The little wolf was afraid. A little lamb was going to tell mommy sheep and daddy sheep everything. And it did tell them. But the sheep didn't believe the little lamb. They didn't believe one word. Why is that? They're stupid. The days passed, the weeks passed, and the little wolf was hungry again. Very hungry. And so one night, it went to mommy sheep and daddy sheep's room. It's like a Peppa Pig remake. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Then the little wolf went to Peppa Pig. <laughs> yep. It ripped them open while they were sleeping. It got blood all over itself. And then the little wolf went to the little lamb. The little lamb was awake. The little lamb had heard the noise of its parents being hunted. It saw the blood. And it smelled the blood, too. The little wolf came closer. Is this Grace or is this Anna? This is why we have a trigger warning. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Mommy sheep and daddy sheep were not very smart. <laughs> no. As the little wolf came closer, it saw the little lamb was not a lamb at all. Oh, it was a wolf. Just like the little wolf. It had been hiding here with all those sheep. Maybe it did not even know that it was a wolf. The little wolf did not kill it. The little wolf could not hunt one of its own. So the little wolf went away. But before it left, the little wolf promised they would meet again. They would be two wolves in a sh world of sheep. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> Wait, what? Why are you blaming her? <laughs> a wolf in sheep's wool. <laughs> yes. So, unless I am confused about what that book was about, I was completely right. This guy is a serial killer, or at least a murderer of some kind, and Anna wants to be with him because she's crazy a killer as well, and she wants to go killing with him. I don't know where Grace comes into this. How can you not tell it's a wolf from a lamb? Because <laughs> they're dumb. Because it's an allegory. I found it hard to stand back up. Oh, you bitch. This is what you wanted me to remember. This is what you... This psycho had taken everything from me. 
had almost done so a second time. And for what? I don't know, to remind you that you're a goddamn killer? I swear. By the sun and the moon and the stars. <laughs> I'll be there. I wonder... I wonder if that's actually the ending, Jay. <laughs> love? Kill? Kill? Love? What am I? Am I love? Am I kill? I realize I didn't edit the stream info, but... I think it's the same... Yeah, it still says Killer Love, so that's fine. I didn't change the title. What if both? It could be both. I swear. I spoke aloud. I imagine my family there with me. The family she'd taken. Wait, what? So she's the killer? Oh, and she just thinks you're crazy. Maybe? I swear. I swear I'll... At what? Killer? I'm already planning on doing that. Well, shit. Never mind. Guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, shit. Not even killing her seemed enough anymore. Or maybe it would be enough. As long as we made it hurt. <laughs> what if? Insert text here. Where am I? I stir... Stirred? Only slightly awakening days, not knowing if what I'm feeling around me is a dream or delusion or reality. I'm sitting up, but I am not sitting still. There's rumbling underneath me. There's wind in my face. Oh yeah, I'm on my fucking motorcycle headed to California. Screw the man. Somehow through all this, I sense that it's nighttime. I try to speak. My limp mouth only manages a rasping breath. Oh. Awake already? Tisk, tisk, that won't do. A familiar bee sting of pain pinches the back of my neck. I feel myself sinking. Then I feel nothing. I am gone. No more rumbling, no more wind in my face, no more me. He may think she's um, a kid. what are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting myself killed, apparently. He may think she's a killer, but it is him. But both are psycho regardless of who's who, right? I mean, that at the very least I think is true, that they're both crazy. That they're both killers in some way. By the time Anna came home, I had been stewing in my hate for hours. Mmm, I was getting just rightly cooked and delicious. <laughs> you gotta stew the Jack for a long time. <laughs> my hate for her had become a living thing, eating away at me. Hey, just like the little wolf. I'm back. Jack? Hello? I tried to say hi back, but I couldn't. If I said anything at all, the hate would come spilling out of me, and it wasn't time yet. <laughs> yeah, magic! <laughs> exactly. Where are you, Jack? Anna sounded worried. This made me happy. I couldn't fake it anymore. If she saw me, she would know. I ran to the bathroom, slammed the door shut, and locked it. I'll be here, I thought. Well, yeah, that you that's where you went. You will be there. Until it's time, I'll stay here. It's only a week. <laughs> She'll understand. <laughs> if I see her, I'll lose my mind. <laughs> I'm not under the bed. <laughs> He's just hiding in the shower. <laughs> Anna's, footsteps, eh. Anna's footsteps came pattering over to where I was. Sweetie, are you okay? Yeah, my heart will go on and never bristle in. She tried the handle, found it locked. Uh-oh, she's gonna go get the axe. Here's Anna. You're still sick? 
Oh, I knew I shouldn't have gone to work. There was a pause, and then she tried to open the door again. Hey, at least say something, you're scaring me. Jack, can you hear me? I'm fine. A sigh of relief. Oh, good. Let me in now, darling. No. I'm staying here for a while. Please open the door, Jack. You don't sound all that good. You sound like you're in pain. I sound fine. Then there came another long moment of silence. I don't know why you'd hide in a room that's easily accessible, because I don't know where else he's going to hide, to be honest. I guess he could have left. But if they're tr planning to kill her there, that's not really going to do. Please, please tell me what's wrong. This time I didn't answer. I lay down on the cold, tiled floor. I would stay like this until I felt it was about six o'clock. It's not like I got a clock in here with me, but it was better to guess than to go out now. Jack. Go away. He can't leave. He's sick. It'll worsen his fever. Yeah, she's not going to buy that. <laughs> She walked away, and I thought that was it. <laughs> you stupid, then. <laughs> you literally know she's insane. <laughs> Even somebody not insane would be like, Come on, let me in. I heard her came back, come back a minute later. Well, was that long enough to be 6 p.m. now? I'm coming in, Jack. Stand back from the door. What the hell are you? Something large and heavy struck the door. Oh, man. <laughs> Am I going to be right about the axe, too? Stop it! You're ruining the door! <laughs> it struck again, and then once more. The flimsy wooden door was starting to cave in at the handle. Any more, and it would splinter. And a stop! It was a dull th thud, and she let something heavy drop to the floor. Ah! Ah! Come out, then. Here's Anna. I think that's what's happening. I bet you better pay for that. It's my apartment. I hesitated. All right. She grunted as she picked up her tool, or picked her tool back up again. No, wait. Stop. I'm coming out. The door handle was smashed so badly it almost refused to open. Oh, Jack. Oh, a sledgehammer. Okay. And a drop what turned out to be a sledgehammer. Dropped it next to her purse, which was on the floor. Why does she have a sledgehammer in an apartment? Because she's a murderer. She all but jumped on me with open arms. Don't do that to me again. Don't do that to me again. I backed off away from her. Something is wrong. I can feel it. What happened, Jack? She takes meat tenderizing very seriously. I bet you she does. Nothing happened. You're crazy. What do you mean? Is it your memory? Oh. She went to feel my temperature with her hand. I slapped it away. Don't touch me. My words stunned her for a second. Tch. And we were making such great progress. What went wrong? You know what went wrong? You know damn well. Oh, yep, here we go. I knew it. Yep, she's gonna be la he's gonna be like, You murdered my family when we took you in. And she's gonna be like, No the fuck, I didn't. Everything has been wrong, ever since the beginning. You're not making any sense, Jack. Well, now, just calm down. It's going to be all right. Now, stay away from me. My back touched the wall. I stumbled. And it bent down as if to tie her shoelaces. She wasn't done this shit before? I think so. I think she is a serial killer. What if they both murdered each other's families? 
cool. Well, then they belong together, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. I saw her hand go into her purse. Then she leapt. Oh, shit. She was on me before I could react. I thought she'd stab me with something, cut me then and there. Instead, she wrapped her arms around me and put her lips to mine. Huh? I tried to power her up, but she coiled around herself around my body like a snake. I couldn't find purchase. I panicked. Her kissing was violent, hardly kissing at all. It's really like she was biting my lips off. Ugh. I tried to put my hand between us and rip her from me, but Anna wouldn't budge. I felt powerless. I couldn't even scream. I tried to, but it was too muffled for anyone to hear. Murder kisses. She looks very happy. Then in a moment of luck, I managed to stumble around. Anna's still on me until she was the one with her back against the wall. Oh yeah. Things are getting heated. I half ran, half fell into the wall. Anna took the brunt of the impact. Oh, she passed out. Owie. Owie? <laughs> Happy or psychotic? Yes. Yes to both. Some people know how to kiss. It's teeth, not tongue, Anna. Yeah, and you don't want to go too crazy on the tongue either. Ah, ah. Oh, that's me. Ah, ah, ah. That hurt. She was now, she was down on her knees now, rubbing the back of her head with her left hand. Go fuck yourself. All right. My lips pulsed with pain, felt raw. I touched them and my hand came back bloody. God damn it. You're a real? I realized very late that there was another flash of pain during our struggle. The feeling that something had pinched me very strongly on my left shoulder. Ah, she'd suck. <laughs> she'd sicked her pet crab on me. I looked at the spot and found nothing there. And uh, what was? And looked at me, smiled, and opened up her right hand. It's a syringe. It took me a few seconds to see what she was holding there. My eyes were having trouble focusing. Oh. A syringe. An empty syringe. Oh, shit. You used up all my drugs on me? You know what? I guess that's okay. I was going to save him for the weekend, but this is fine. I'm ready. She is a nurse, you dingus. I, I don't think he knows that yet. I don't think he knows where she works. <sighs> that sure was tricky. What was... What did you drug me with? <laughs> drug this fucking bleach, dude. She waved the question away like it was no concern of mine. Away with your concerns about dying. Something to help you go into a nice, long sleep. Isn't that nice? Yeah, actually, that is pretty nice. I was supposed to kill you later and that was very stressful. This is better. This is better. Why'd the nurse start eating his lips? Oh, uh, she really likes him. A lot. Or is hungry? Or both. Then we can begin your re-education. You know, they banned those. They banned those camps. You're not allowed to do that. Your re-re-education. Don't fuck with me. I took a step towards her. My legs felt heavy. Knees weak. Palms were sweaty. She is a wolf. Is it just me or was, she, or was it getting hard to move? I'll never go through that again. You hear? I grabbed at her, but my hand struck the wall instead, almost a second after Anna had moved out of the way. Easy now. She put a hand on my shoulder. Just what are you trying to do? Fuck off. I'm trying to fuck off. <laughs> I twisted around to get at her. It was like moving underwater. Oh, please don't do this, Jack. You're making it too fun to tease you. I won't be able to hold back. I stumbled down, just barely catching myself before my head hit the floor. 
My eyes wandered up to the ceiling. My limbs were lead. I felt I could not move. New CG or new new sprite. There you go. Help. Never mind, she seems to enjoy it. I bet she would, to be honest. I was a fly. Huh? Help. Trapped in a spider's web. Honestly, what are you doing? Help. With no way out. Stop that. Help! The, n the neighbors will think we're weird. We are weird! Fuck you! <laughs> I went to shout again, but something caught in my throat, and instead I nearly coughed my lungs out on the floor. Are you all tuckered out now, sweetie? Goodness. <laughs> you really had some fight in you. You're pretty scary. Next time, I'll definitely... Oh, she's gonna get hit by Grace, isn't she? Ah, uh, what's that? Yay! Magic! It's magic. I heard it then, too. The front door handle rattled, and someone banged on it twice. Avon calling! Ah. It's the Chinese I ordered. Anna laughed. I think I know who this is. And it dawned on me, too. I tried to shout again, but I was still coughing. Anna went to the front door on tiptoes and checked the peephole. She had put a hand over her mouth to stop herself from giggling. To me, well she... Well done, peasants! <laughs> well, thank y'all! To me, she mouthed the words, Guess who? Let's call back earlier. Here comes Grace with the chair! By God, she had a family! <laughs> she didn't, though. She, she probably killed them. I knew who! She was here early, and I'd failed her. And I waited until the banging started again. In a fluid, a single fluid motion, she unlocked the door, opened it, and stood back. Ah! Grace stumbled in, her toothpick of a knife in hand. The emphasis is hand! <laughs> Grace! Jack! What? What the fuck, man? This is now what I said you, that you should do? Anna was a blur. <laughs> she was moving like... <laughs> Remember that thing I said about Super Saiyan 3? She was Super Saiyan level 4. <laughs> she elbowed Grace in the stomach, then jumped back as if she was expecting Grace to slash at her. Grace did nothing of the sort. Her knife slipped from her hand. She fell down right after it. Huh? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys were gonna try and murder me? What the fuck? <laughs> One hit and she goes down? God, you guys suck. Why did I think you were like an effective fun murderer? That's it? Really? Some climax to this game, huh? After closing and locking the door, Anna stepped closer, fearless now. She kicked Grace in the ribs. Gah! You invade someone's home, and this is all you can do? Someone's precious home? What? Please stop! Oh, thank you for the hug. I'm sorry! And aside. You're hopeless. Two to a person rummaged through it. Another syringe? I knew you had your hand in this. You're, my, you're the only one who can corrupt my jack this way. Well, no more. And I brought back another syringe. This one's still filled with a clear liquid. This is a jack dose. Try not to die, okay? Actually, you know, honestly, I don't care. Go for it. Stop! Stop that! I love to corrupt your Jack! <laughs> I had managed to stand back up. Really? I wasn't gonna let this freak hurt Grace. Leave her alone! 
Christ's sake, don't do that. Do what? I looked again. It had already begun. Or it had already been done. The syringe was empty. God damn it, how dare you waste her drugs on me? I told you I wanted enough for the whole goddamn weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> and now you've used up one of them. It's fine, it's fine. I could probably, like, I don't know, cut them into thirds and still, like, stretch it out until, like, afternoon Sunday. I don't know. But people were coming over for the football game, and I was hoping to be wasted the whole time. All right, I forgive you. Let's put her in the car. <laughs> I've been too slow. Sit down and be a good, patient boy again. While I decide what I'll do with this girl. Anna wandered off into another room. She shouted from there. Do you want pizza tonight? <laughs> do we have any rope, Jack? I'm sure I brought some. bought some. I rushed to where Grace was on the floor. She wasn't squirming in pain anymore. Maybe I could suck the drugs out of her. Ugh. And said she was lying down incredibly still. For a second I thought she was dead and my heart sank. But she was still alive. I was about to remedy that. She was breathing quick, shallow breaths. Her eyes were closed but fluttering. God damn it, she's having such a good time right now. Super jealous. Shit! I needed to get her to a doctor. But maybe not that doctor with the crazy ethereal nightmare on his head. I looked up to the entrance. By some miracle, Anna had left the key in the door. What about duct tape, Jack? Hey, Jack. I managed to turn the key in the lock, even in the state I was in. I'm really good at unlocking doors. I turned back to Grace. Though she probably couldn't hear me, I had to tell her something. Grace, I'll... Oh, go get help. Dr. Black Hole. Yes, <laughs> that one. I'll be back soon. I never came back. Fuck these chicks. <laughs> like I said, getting on the motorcycle, driving to California. I couldn't carry her out. I was on the verge of collapsing on my own. Can I have Grace? Yeah, sure, it's fine. <laughs> She's gonna die anyway. The best I could do was get someone down the, on the street to help me. I turned the handle using both hands. The door wouldn't open. What the? Oh no. The door was bolted shut. Anna must have added the bolt lock on her own. Mine and Grace's apartment didn't have one. I tried to unlock it but my fingers wouldn't move like I wanted them to. I tried again and again. At best, I managed to get my nails caught on the bolt, almost ripping them off. I nearly cried from frustration. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. On the verge of getting up and letting go, I looked around the small apartment and found my means of escape. Death. <laughs> uh, I'll either have to use my really nice cuffs on her or go to the... Ah. Uh, Jack? Where are my really nice cuffs? Hmm. I mean, I know we've used them like six times this week, but I don't know. What are we using under the, under the bed? Kind of forget. Where are? Oh shit! Anna had seen me hanging out the window, legs first. She ran over to me. I slid further back. Jack, you'll fall. Yeah. It was a miracle I managed to slide back the curtains to open the window with my useless hands. Stay away from me. I was holding out of the windowsill with open palms and I was slipping. No, you'll hurt yourself. That's the idea. Take my hand. I'll never let go, Jack. I glanced at the street below. <laughs> Ew, fucking PT Cruiser? Oh, but you have no taste at all. And it's white? Jeez. If you're going to get a PT Cruiser, at least get a cool color. When I gone to climb out, it didn't look like much of a drop. This was only the second floor, after all. Drugs are a powerful drug. Yeah, exactly. Titanic, Jack. That's who it is. You didn't know that? This is a retelling of the Titanic in modern times with serial killers. <sighs> now, I wasn't so sure. There was so much empty space between me and the hard concrete. 
Take my hand, Jack. If I landed well, though, I'd be fine. Probably. What are you waiting for? Fucking jump, pussy! Seems like she's reliving PTSD. Probably exactly that, yes. And I grabbed my wrists. Bye! My hands let go. I was not connected to anything. I floated. Gah! Wait, I mean, I know you're like, drugged out of your mind, but if you think about it, if she grabbed your hands, why wouldn't you just grab hers before you fall? At, at the very least, you know, <laughs> you would take her with you and prevent her from killing your girlfriend or Grace or whatever. The baby hysterical? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm here. The impact knocked the wind right out of me. Also the bones. Knocked the bones right out of me. It wasn't much pain, but I knew I landed badly. Aw oh, man, the judges are really going to take off the score for this one. I looked down at my body. My leg was a shape no leg should be. It was like a W. Jack broke his butt. <laughs> oh yeah, Jack fell down. Broke his crown. Oh shit. This is... This is not a cool place to wake up to. I came back to consciousness, gasping for air. I looked at my leg. There's a blanket over it. Oh, someone's keeping it warm for me. That's that's nice. I pushed the blanket aside. My leg is there, in a cast. Hmm, what? <laughs> Shaped like a Waluigi L. It's ramrod straight. The sight calms me. I love having broken legs. Ooh, chapter 8, all together now. Only then do I realize I'm not in my hospital bed. Oh, I think this takes place after now, after the hospital shit. All right, things are going quite well. I think we will take a short break, uh, just a couple minutes. If you're not subbed, you will see a very long ad. They're like three minutes now, but I will be on a break the whole time, so you will not miss anything. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'll be back very soon. Of course I can put the music on.
apparently I gotten like weirdly reset. <laughs> oh my eye. Oh, here's a, uh, here's a link to that song, if you wanna, the hell? <laughs> Alright, Chrome is asking, like, weird shit. You didn't get an ad? Well, that's fine. <laughs> like, I hit the ad button, I guess I just didn't give you one. Never gotten a Twitch and I don't know why. Oh, you got one now, right? Unless you mean your own channel. Twitch is pretty cool. Yeah, there are so many good people. This one in particular. Oh, thank you. You already put it on my playlist on Spotify? Fuck yeah. Uh, all the all the songs I use are, are AGST. Or almost all of them, I think. I've been using them the whole time I've been streaming, like a year and something now. All right, let us continue. But this totally normal story. Only then do I realize I'm not in my hospital bed. I'm in a wheelchair in some abandoned place. You don't know that it's abandoned. People could live here. This could just be their aesthetic. Maybe they're minimalists. No, that's wrong. Hello, Dovies. Is that am I pronouncing that right? Dovi, Dovies. It's cold. Good morning, sleepyhead. Anna is here with a large sack of who knows what at her feet. Hey, how's it going, Anna? How you doing? Feels like it's been a while since I've seen you. How are the kids? I wait until my breath is back before speaking. Of course you're here. Yeah, more killer love. I think we're I think we're getting close to the end. Oh jeez. Smacking my microphone. Has there ever been a bad moment in my life without you? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. You are so wholesome and cool and well everything else. Tixie wiggle wiggle. Oh, thank you. What's hore hore lay? Hore lai? Tail erahu? I don't know what that means. She says nothing, only smiles. And hore late. Hore anhore lot late. I look around. I love what you've done with the place. It looks good. Did you hire somebody to spray all that graffiti on the wall? So, you kidnapped me. The hospital will find you. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're all dead, Jack. You've seen that scene from The Dark Knight Rises, haven't you? They're all dead. I didn't kidnap you, dear. You were discharged. I did the paperwork and everything. In the end, <laughs> kill her love, but we own, but we need the Anna. We do not. Hello, Al. Welcome. We got further into Detroit. <laughs> what? How can you tell? You got out a little early. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that makes you glad. But you were sleeping, so I had to sign for you as well. The doctor didn't mind much, though. <laughs> His face is made of a black hole. Also, he let me cancel your rehab facility stay. <gasps> you son of a bitch! I wanted to get fully better, now I can't. She's just gonna keep me in bed for the rest of my life. Oh wait, what? That wouldn't work. Doesn't she want me to go murdering with her? God damn it! That asshole of a doctor, I'm guessing. Is that what his face was? <laughs> I come back to the stream and I hear, and I hear you son of a bitch. 
Yeah, hello! Hello, Frequency! So nobody is looking for me. This is it. This is... Oh, she has me where she wants me. She's one. Or at least that's what I want her to think. <laughs> I've got a What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> a killer, probably. I slip my thumb under my cast and smile. <laughs> Smell this. I've had this cast on for three months. Reminds me of a game I played a few months ago. The, the area was legit Detroit, I could tell by the GM tower. Was it, uh, was it Detroit Become Human? It's still there, right where I put it. Oh, she's probably got a fucking knife. Why did you bring me here, Anna? Was it to die? And where is here? I love it. I'm thinking about renting a place. You mean you don't recognize it? Oh shit, is this like our old apartment or something? Take a look outside. I look out the busted windows. Nope, but not safe for work game. Oh, <laughs> which one? Uh, there's an area in the Discord. You could, uh... <laughs> you could link that. By the way, we have a Discord. And other such things. Let me, uh... Hey, you can join the Discord. We got cool stuff there. I got old videos on YouTube if you want to watch them. I don't remember and it's furry. Cool. Well, if, you're, if you do remember. Bingo bullseye right on the money! Ba -da -ba -da -bam. We are fairly high up. On the ground below us is a sea of tall grass. In the middle of the grass is a dark... A square of dark concrete. This is... This is where you showed your love to me. Oh, that doesn't sound great. By burning everything that reminded you of that girl. Tell me where she is now. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of hard to define. When you've been cut into like 60,000 tiny pieces, where are you really anymore? Is it Detroit, not Berlin? I'm already subbed? Hell yeah, what, to my YouTube? Nice. Oh. I was surprised how nonchalant you were about this. And it kicks the bag at her feet, and it whines. Oh. Bruh. <laughs> you got a whole freaking person in a bag? Oh, thank you for the fo uh, follow. The Messenger, 777. Welcome, how are you doing today? How's your Friday? Oh God! It isn't a bag, it's Grace! Bound and gagged! <laughs> She's put on a lot of weight, she just looks like a bag now. Untire, God damn it! Oh, thank you for the follow! Frequency! How are you- how are you doing? Stop getting cats with knives! Can't you see she's hurt? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been fucking kicking her in the ribs like every three minutes. Duh. She's not hurt. R you believe me, right? She's fine, see? Thwack! <laughs> and removes the rag she stuffed in Grace's mouth. Kinda hot, actually. I gave her water and kept her fed and everything. I promised I would, just like the puppy. Oh shit! Oh, we killed the puppy, didn't we? Huh, funny that. Hey, what's your favorite anime? Assuming you watch it. Uh, it's a series called Higurashi no Naku Kurodi, or When They Cry. It's very violent and amazing. My little sister learned how to open doors just like a velociraptor. Hello, Super! Welcome, welcome! How's your, how's your Friday going? Are you working today? Well, most of the time. But I tell you, I'll tell you what. She used to be a real handful. No. Grace only stares blind, blankly. Let Grace go, you monster. Take those cuffs off. 
Did you see my signed Nightwish poster? I did. I was gonna ask, did you actually go and see them? Like, was that in person? Grace's arms are cuffed behind her back. Her legs are cuffed together, too. She's mumbling something now. <laughs> Use your words, Grace. Let her go yourself, bitch. I'll give you the key. It's a knife. Anna dangles the key in my face. It's never that easy with you. What do you want? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? You're asking me what I want, Jack. I want the same gosh... <laughs> I want the same gosh darn thing I've been telling you this whole time. Propane and propane accessories. <laughs> Have you seen the anime Another? <gasps> Shit, it sounds really familiar. I'm... I'm not sure if I have or not, to be honest. Let me see, I'm gonna change and do a different outfit. Mm, which one? This one, I haven't, I haven't done this one much. That was fucking dark! Whoa, I got... Look at this hair! Holy shit! <laughs> so much hair! Actually, this is kind of fucking cool, isn't it? Kind of badass. <laughs> Alright, maybe it's kind of silly. <laughs> there we go. I have to go. I'm getting a migraine. Oh, that's okay. I get migraines all the time. Yeah, thank you for thank you for watching. I hope you feel better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a good night or day or whatever it is. Watch Demon Slayer five times? Hell yeah, Demon Slayer is awesome. There's a scene with an umbrella. I will never forget that scene. Oh shit. Can you link it to me? It sounds very familiar. I'm not sure. I saw School Days. School Days was good. <laughs> the signatures are real too? Hell yeah. My wish is pretty fucking cool. I haven't listened to a lot of them. I wonder why you keep getting headaches. Hmm. I hear that too much red meat is bad for you. Gonna go record a vid. Have fun. See you later. Bye. I want you to remember us. Oh, oops. I'm clicking the wrong thing. Did my redemption go off yet? Yeah. <laughs> There, you got another one. Link directly, I'm not sure it would be okay to link in chat. <laughs> well, mm, is it like adult adult? Or is it just violent? I mean, that's fine. Dis Discord is good enough. Well, I remember. You do? My feelings came pouring out of me. I've kept them bottled up for so long. All right, I'm telling you. She's gonna be like, or he's gonna be like, You murdered my fucking family! And she's gonna be like, No, no, no! What was the other way around? Yes, I do! You killed my family! My father, my mother, and even my fucking dog! There! Are you happy now, you sick freak? I saw your little picture book. That's how you have fun, isn't it? Oh, is it? Ah, oh, screw it! Oh, well, there's blood. Yeah, I mean, blood is fine. We, we do that a lot. <laughs> we do a lot of blood on this channel. We're about to do a lot of blood right now, I bet. Reminiscing. Is that why you want me to, to remember too, huh? So you can see me scream and beg for my life. Well, fuck you! I'm not begging for anything. Unless you've got, like, a Klondike bar. I I could really use that. It's very, it's summer, middle of summer, and I really like them. I haven't had ice cream in a long time. They don't give you that kind of shit in the hospital. Well, they give you ice cream, but it sucks. And that Dr. Void man getting his void all over it. So that. Also a Fresca. <laughs> I would like a Fresca. They still make those? I don't know. Go find it. I hope she's dead. Wait, wait, who? Blood Sea was also very fucked up. I don't think I've heard of that one.
Isabel! It didn't work for some reason. Oh, because you have to... It's... I think it's not capitalized. Extreme Labs doesn't care, but Tits does. Thank you for the hydrate. I take out the scalpel I stole from the doctor and hid it under my cast. If you come any closer, I'll gut you, I swear. Now let Grace go. This is between you and me only. She has nothing to do with Isabel. it. Isabel! Don't ruin more people's lives than you already have. Kill her. <laughs> we may. Jack, what the fuck, dude? Complete series of Blood Sea on Blu-ray still sealed. A reimagining of Blood the Last Vampire. <laughs> Please kill her. <laughs> I'm not asking twice. Do it. Oh, Jack. Anna heaves a resigned sigh. A scalpel in her ass. You really know how to disappoint a girl. I know. I've been practicing for years. When you said... Ah, uh, darn it. I should have known, but for a second. What the hell are you talking about? I still don't get this game, it's just confusing. I think we're a murderer. I think she is too. Jack, you... Ah, oh, fine. I'm dead trying to do this, even though it would have been so romantic. What are you... I feel something bad coming. She reaches into her purse, takes out something small. Hmm. What'll it be? But look at the time. It's time for me to get off my ass to be productive. I'll see you. Thank you for coming by. I hope to see you later. Have fun being productive. I will have to do the same too as well. Bye-bye. Thank you for the follow. The whole building explodes. She's got a fucking leg. <laughs> She got a little bomb trigger. <laughs> Remember I mentioned the scene in the Dark Knight? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't fucking around. That shit is for real. You're about to fuck around and find out. They had a link to that. these scenes is up there if you want to see. There's a content warning on stream. Oh. Wait. Another is, there's like a girl with, um, does she have an eye patch or something? And they're in like a school and people keep dying. And there's one with a, st with stairs. There's one with stairs. <laughs> I want to make you choke to death on this. Wait, she's not, <laughs> she's not freaking Noriko. Amnesiac is being pulled between two women on either side of his memories. There's clearly mental health issues. The protagonist is suppressing and emotional manipulation is in the mix, leaving it up to the player to decide who to actually trust. Yes. Jay has summed it up perfectly. She lets it fall to the ground. It's my journal. Tuesday. I stabbed a dog to death. A vibrator, not 50. Well, you gotta start somewhere. My hands are shivering. I don't understand. Jack. What? You've got it all wrong. Even after seeing the picture book. Told ya. Oh, I'm getting all glitchy again. How's this all the time? Why can't you just work? I didn't kill your family. You killed mine. Say! Anybody hear that ringing? Jack is a killer the whole time, and then he woke up. Her words I once are ones I hadn't considered. Yeah, I had. <laughs> I thought you were a serial killer like hours ago. I hadn't dared consider them. But now that they've been said, I know they are true. Pick the phone high. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> the call was coming from inside the stream. And that truth hits me like a bullet between the eyes. I'm dead. I die instantly. 
the dam I've had in my brain for 15 years breaks, spills over. Memories come gushing out. Where am I? I'm somewhere dark and cramped. A hidey hole. I'm hiding. I'm back there. I don't think I ever really left. I don't know who this is. Where are you, Jack? Stop running away. No. No. Please don't let him find me. Please. Please, 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 please. There you are. Pain. So much pain, it makes me vomit. Mom's spaghetti. I'm not used to it yet. I'll never be used to it. I don't think anyone could live with this pain. I can't. Oh, shit. Mom, help me. Cold eyes. Like she is looking at dirt. It's always like this. Day in, day out. Jack, fuck, y yes. It will never stop. But one day it does stop. Huh, funny that. The picture book seems to imply Jack's parents were not only both murderers, but also did not plan to have him. I don't think that they're murderers. I think that they're abusive. Which, this is definitely what this implies. There is silence. Nothing but silence. Man, I gotta put on, like, some Floyd or something. I gotta find, like, a, like a chill wave playlist on, uh, on YouTube. A quiet so bottomless it lets nothing exist. Especially not me. It isn't bad. There is no pain. But things start moving again. I have no say in the matter. I'm being swept along. Oh. It's all right now, Jack. I think that's who the... Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, the void. <laughs> ah, you guys both did it. It's all right now, Jack. You're safe with us. Us? Is it also Grace? A pair of warm strangers. <laughs> Lefty and righty. I can't even imagine how tough it was for you. You can call me mom if you want, but you don't have to. Mom? Yes! Oh, thank you so much, Jack. We love you. They pretend to be nice. They pretend to like me. Us? Who's us? I'm guessing maybe it's Grace and Anna? Anna at the very least, right? They give me food to eat and give me books to read and all sorts of other things. Oh, wait. No, this is, this is, um, the right, right? They got, the wolves gave them up. This is, uh, Anna's family. Yeah, it's Anna's family. They're trying to make me like them. They're very clever. But I'm more clever than they are. Somebody kills their dog. Hmm. Somebody. Yeah, mama sheep and daddy sheep. The crazy I'm a killer too. She might be. I liked the dog. Kind of like stabbing it too. They must have killed the dog. That's what they'll do to me, too. I know what they're like, what they're all like. I don't want to die. I've got used to living again. So one night, I take a knife. Oh, well. <laughs> that happened, uh... Went ahead and happened earlier than I than I assumed it would, but <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> remember, remember this. Remember, old friend up here. Everyone's the killer. I visit the girl they're keeping with their blood still on me. Oh, it's not. 
It's not their daughter. I did it. Did what? What was that noise? I thought it would be obvious with all that blood swirling around in my vision. I say it anyway. They're dead! Dead? The girl's eyes open wide. Her grip on her pillow tightens. Who is... Mom and Dad? I thought she'd be happy. But she starts crying. They're not happy tears or sad tears. Scared tears, too. She's holding a pillow between us like she wants it to protect her. Pfft, silly. A pillow is not going to protect you from this knife. Oh shit, either his amnesia is recurring or he blanks out all the murders and gets protective. I think that. I think he blanks them all out. Yeah, made him dead. She's afraid of me. As she well should be. Why? You're free now. They won't hurt you. But I will. Who's mom and dad? She cries harder. Psh, little baby. That's so piercing in my ears. I don't understand. I did a good thing. I'll, I'll see you later, I guess. The crying is so loud, I have to go outside. It's cold. Steam rises from the warm blood. I did a good thing. Didn't I? I did. But there's no... But there's doubt now. I think of their eyes when they woke up with their... Uh... With their necks opened up. Uh... A pillow chair! Bitch, I'm not protecting you. They weren't angry. I didn't know what they were. Dying, probably. Now I think they were sad. I'm confused. So, so confused. I've never been this confused. I dropped the knife. Sobs come out of me even though I don't want to cry. It's all too much. Just look at the trees. It'll be okay. The whole world has come crashing down on me. I can't handle it. I'll break. One step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. I hear a voice then. It's coming from inside me. It's my own voice. It's whispering. It says, this did not happen to you. It didn't happen at all to anyone. It was all a dream. You'll forget about it in the morning. So I lay down and I sleep. Did he shove his fingers into their neck holes too? Thankfully not as far as I know. <laughs> and by morning, I've forgotten. Just that simple, huh? So. She may not want to be a serial killer with us. This may have been elaborate revenge. This all comes back to me in a single flash of understanding. I sit there for a minute, barely breathing as the weight of it passes over me. Because he's not hes not exactly a reliable narrator. So when, it, when he said that the other, the little sheep is also a wolf, that may have been just his assumption. We say that this a lot, but this boy really needs therapy. Yeah. Frontier psychiatrist. That boy needs therapy. When I finally look around again, I realize my jaw hurts. I've been clenching it. <laughs> I've been chewing this five gum for hours. The flavor lasts so long. You want anything from the store? Nah, I'm good. I'll be back. Oh, I just forgot I killed your parents. Okay, bye. Back in Detroit. Yeah, super. Uh, dissociative identity disorder. I believe is that that's what it's called now. Do you? Yes. I remember now. Sorry about your parents. Whatever. Anna still looks suspicious of me. Can you prove it? You used to have short hair, Anna. I teased you about it. I said you look like a boy. You're... And it takes a few steps towards me. She collapses with her head in my lap. You're back. I'm so happy. Oh, I guess I guess she is a killer. Okay. Also known as D.I.D. Yep. 
I'm so happy I could die. My sister has that. She's not obviously like not dangerous or anything, but she does have it. I think my mom probably has it too, to be honest. Which is a little scary. Because I know it's partially genetic. Or maybe entirely genetic. Hopefully I don't have that. I don't think I do, but would you know? I think Nyx would have told me. They're cool now, die. Maybe. I'm so happy I could die. Or you could. There, there. Stab her in the neck. I run my fingers through her hair. I can't help but pity her since she's about to die. Anna starts talking, but her sobs make it hard for her to speak. I knew. I knew if I waited, if I waited, you'd come back to me. That was really cruel, you know? What you did. You, you showed me everything and then went away. I offer the end of my blanket. She blows her nose on it and takes a few deep breaths to calm herself. A uh, little she knows it's not actually my blanket. I don't care if she gets her snot on it. Oh, welcome back. Uh, do, do, dovies. Dovies. Thanks. You taught me everything, you know, Jack. I can't ever thank you enough for that. At first I was scared. I was petrified. Thinking I could never live without you by my side. And I hated you. I was really stupid, huh? But the more I thought ab about you, and I thought about you a lot, the more the truth became so obvious. <laughs> Grace, will you fucking go tie me already? What the fuck, you two? I'm still here. <laughs> there are many factors that can play into someone developing DID and how it affects your thinking and behaviors. These factors include family, social influences, and culture. It's possible that your genes could predispose you to having DID, but there's no research that currently shows this. Oh, interesting. Well, that's good to know. You showed me what the world is really like, full of fucking murderers like you. There are sheep, and there are wolves. You are a wolf, and I am too, right? That's why you saw me- Hey! <laughs> that's why you saw- That's what you saw me back then, right? That's why you spared me. Did <laughs> will you two fuck already? I think they did. I think they have many times, probably. And that's why I love you. Because we are made for each other. You love me? Gross! Who would love I me? I don't believe it! Believe it. I do. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And you love me too. Yeah, I don't fucking think so. I see. And it kisses me on the cheek before picking the scalpel up from the ground. Oh. Oh, I dropped it at some point. Shit. You maybe, you maybe wanted to not do that. Oh no, she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna want me to kill Grace. I'm not. Uh, she gently places it in my lap and wheels me over to Grace. Are we gonna have to choose? I got to choose the love or kill? Grace is lying on her side. Her eyes are focused now. They're looking at me. But I can't help but feel she's not seeing me. I'm close enough to hear the words she's hissing out. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Please. There's a whistling quality to a voice. Kill her! Come on, kill her! I bend down and pull her lips back. That's... that's not creepy. Oh. She's missing some teeth. I turn to Anna. Oh, well. That's, uh... Oopsie. How many? Just four. No more than that. And I didn't enjoy it or anything. Promise. Two choices, four endings. Hmm. Save here. She just really wouldn't shut up until I did that.
Carolina. Mm, we'll see. Who do you love? Who do you kill? And his eyes dart sideways. Oh, she's lying. I follow them and see a pair of pliers on the ground alongside a towel and a bottle of what might be rubbing alcohol. Hey, can I get a swig of that? Are you mad? You mad, bro? I don't answer. How do I feel? Hmm, hmm. <laughs> How do I feel about murder and torture? Man, I don't know. You know, I didn't kill Buddy. <gasps> Did she kill Buddy? What? You didn't? No. Then who did? I shrug. Could have been anyone. Yeah, sure. Anna thinks it over, but eventually also shrugs. Oh, it doesn't matter, really. <laughs> I guess it doesn't. Well, then... I mean, I could do a poll. Jack kill. So. Here's the thing about this. <laughs> Not to leave you all in suspense, but I may have to. I have an appointment at three. Uh, it's my um, psychiatry appointment, and I can't miss that. Because then they stop writing my medication. So. I do need to take a break for that. Uh, at least a break. Um, so I might have to like end the stream and then come back. This feels like an awfully good place to stop. So we can uh, come back and leisurely go over the whatever happens after this. Yes, a cliffhanger indeed. Thankfully, we don't have to wait for a whole nother stream. I'll just, you know, I'll end the stream and I'll come back uh, afterward. To just do the rest of this. How much time? I think... The appointment's at 3 and it's probably like 15 minutes long. Yeah, might as well raid, right? Might as well get, give somebody some follows and stuff. If we can. So, I'm not going to say too much. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, you don't have to stick around to watch who we raid. But if you can stick around for the raid, I'd super appreciate it. We can, uh, shout made with love at some people. Also, not going to take too long to, to figure out who we raid. Alright, so let's real quick do that. No, that's wrong. Oh, it's right, alright. All right, so probably, probably sleepy. It's her last day of the subathon, so yeah, we should we should raid into sleepy. Everybody loves sleepy. Hello, Skylark. Hi, Amy. Oh my God, you look so cute today. Thank you. Yeah, you're a little bit late, but I will be back. I'm just taking a, um, a short break. I will have to end the stream for it. Um, I'm taking a break to do my, um, uh, my psychiatrist appointment. Which I think will be like 15 minutes, so I'll probably be back by like 3.15, 3.30 at the latest, I think. And then we'll finish this up by killing Grace? Not killing Grace? Killing Anna? Not killing Anna? All four? Probably all four. <laughs> Darn okay, I keep an eye out. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Oh, thank you for gifting a sub to Dobies. Thank you so much, Skylark. Also, yeah, we got a second, so. Do a shout out for Skylark streams. Alice Madness Returns. Whoa, was that good? I've been wanting to play that. I'm getting drowned out by the music. 
It's super good. Oh, it's the train. That's... Is it like a remake? It looks really good. Alice is a very old game. Hopefully this is almost the end. We're but... almost to the train. Oh shit! Spoilers! <laughs> oh, I didn't see the end. It's fine. Alright, so we will... We'll go ahead and raid Sleepy's Planet. Just to show her a little bit of love. It's a darker take on Alice in Wonderland. Oh, yeah. No, I've heard of... Uh, it was called American McGee's Alice. Right? And then that is the sequel, I believe. Thanks for the shout. I'll catch you later. Yeah. I hope, I hope so. I hope you're able to come back. I could totally type. <laughs> Alright, message is made with love. And spam some some hearts. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know alarm, I know. Mattis is a sequel. I gotta check it out sometime. Alright, let's uh go say hello to Sleepy Planet. She's 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 a riot. I I like Sleepy. She's very chill, but then also kind of lewd. So it's all good. She's she's fun. It's a fun it's a fun watch. Bye. I love you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now you got the sub. Now you could use all the emotes. All right. See you all. Hopefully soon. Around three thirty. About like a half hour or forty five minutes. Okay. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.